Well, take us down to Tampa. I mean, that was, I, you know, and I, I, I'll share with these guys now, just working the Stanley Cup finals this past finals, because obviously with COVID, didn't get to the prior. And I ran into to Callie and his wife uh, uh, outside the arena the one day. And and Callie was, uh, and I'd like to maybe get into that at the end here, um, just from your, your work in the community down there, you're getting honored at the game. And 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 I just thought to myself, like wherever this guy goes, like he's a fan favorite. I mean, how did how were you received down there in Tampa? And how about that group of guys? Yeah, it, it, to be honest with you, I was, it was a bit nerve wracking. I got traded, obviously, for Marty St. Louis. So you know, you, you get traded, and by no means am I going to come close to filling his shoes. Or you know, I came with like three first rounders, so it wasn't just me and him, me for him. But um, <laughs> You go to you go to a city like that, and you know a guy like Marty's leaving. It's a bit nerve wracking, and you know the fans there right away. I mean, right from game one, embraced me. You know, they gave me a standing ovation. I actually went in the shootout. I missed, but they gave me a standing ovation in the shootout, and I'm like, wow, like this is pretty cool. You know what I mean? And um, probably because you, you ran every single guy on their team through the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Like fi- finally, give us a break, but. Uh, but it was awesome. I loved it there. And I was, I was going to be a free agent at the end of the year. And, um, you know, as soon as the year ended, I'm like, I'm resigning here. This place is awesome. Great place to play. Uh, not to mention we had an unbelievable team, a young team. You could tell that was going to be really good. Uh, and then, you know, I was there, I played there for five years. We made one Stanley cup finals, two conference finals. Um, we had some really, really good runs there. And, the fan base, the city, I mean, it's nothing like you'd expect from a Florida-based hockey team. It's, they put a show on. They put a show on, man. Every game is yeah. like, you know, whatever that – what do they call it? Thunder Alley right yeah, outside right. there. Yeah. I mean, big concert yeah. going. It's awesome. Yeah, It's the place to be. Yeah, so, I, I mean, I, I I loved my time there. We – obviously, as Robert saying, my wife was there as well, and we, we just started having kids as well. So, timing-wise, couldn't have been better. We got out of the city. We were in Tampa where – you know, family life is awesome. The beach is half hour away. Um, so it was it was awesome. We had really good teams there. And like I said, it, it's a great city to play in. Ryan, in that moment, uh, it, how did you find out you were getting traded? And in the moment, were you – what were you feeling like? Were you upset? Were you frustrated? Or were you kind of relieved? Or, or what was all, what was that uh, emotional process like for you? Yeah, I mean, so that, you know, without getting into the – details of the whole year i mean the whole year was a long year it was a contract year for me right and yeah. things weren't things weren't going well i mean we me and the rangers we were butting heads like crazy it got really kind of ugly towards the end um and we actually agreed on eventually agreed on terms of, of money um and they wouldn't give me a no trade or a no move which they gave my good buddy dan girardi two weeks earlier um there were so much rumors already about me getting traded threatening to trade me um, I was terrified to sign the deal and being shipped out. Right. So yeah. the, the writing was kind of on the wall right there. Like, you know, if they won't give me that, it's, it's not looking good. And, uh, so it ended up coming right down to uh, trade deadline day. We had a game that day. We went out for pregame skate and rapper, as you know, everybody t- trade TSN trade center, NHL network trade centers on the room in the, in the training room. So we're all sitting there and sure as shit, Bob McKenzie pops up and says, uh, Breaking news, uh, Marty St. Louis traded the New York Rangers for Ryan Callahan, right? And I'm sitting there, I'm staring at it. The whole room just kind of goes silent. And probably two seconds, three seconds later, uh, JR, our, our media guy, opens our PR guy opens the door and says, Slats wants to see you in the lounge. So I'm like, oh, I wonder what he wants to see me about. So um, <laughs> so I, I, a little late, huh? Yeah, so, uh, so I walk in there and – and, and I'll be honest with you guys, I broke down. I mean, yeah. I was yeah. I was crying. I mean, uh, there was guys in the room that were crying. Ramsey, Jim Ramsey, our, our head of the letter trainer was crying. I mean, it was it was emotional. Um, you know, a, a lot of people, the New York fans, I guess, questioned me not resigning there. I did I want to stay there? Um, but everything I said of my heart being there, me wanting to be, it was it was true. You know, and it just got to a point with negotiations where it, it got to a point where they were signing all these big, big free agents everywhere. Um, you know, and I'm like, I've been a homegrown guy. I'm the captain of this team. You know, you want me to take another lump and, and not, you know, take a discount again. And um, you know, it just, it didn't go, it didn't go well. The negotiations, partly my fault, partly their fault, but 
um, it was really hard. And the hardest part um, probably was my wife. We had a two-year-old at the time. She was pregnant with our second. So I call her and I'm like, we just got traded to Tampa. Um, I'm going to be on a flight at 7 p.m. It's two o'clock now. I'm like, I'm on a flight at seven. You got to figure out the apartment. You got to figure out everything. Mm. So sure as shit, I ran home. I had Crazy. 800 media people calling me. I had to completely turn off my phone. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I was on a flight at seven. I remember getting to a hotel in Tampa and I get to Tampa and they have a whole full spread in the, in the hotel room for me, a big bucket of beers. And I never dove, I never dove into a bucket of beers so fast in my life. I'm like, I need these right now. Just double fisted in the room. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day. So it's, uh, but it was, yeah, it was an emotional time. It was, it was close to the deadline. Wasn't it Callie? That trade was late in the day. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty close. We we're about an hour away, hour or two away from, from the from the deadline so yeah it was it was it was pretty it was pretty wild i mean yeah i guess we had to deal with uh come to later find out and doesn't matter now but uh we had a deal they had to deal with san jose also if that tampa deal fell through so they were definitely shipping me out that day it was just a just a matter of where <laughs> yeah you know and that's the, that's the tough part in this business and you mentioned that um you know you you got to leave your young child with your wife who's pregnant and then she's got to fend kind of hold down for it while you're going and what's on your mind is getting in there you're meeting new guys you're trying to fit in and make sure that they feel like i mean they traded marty saint louis for you so there's a lot of pressure for you so this is a tough part of the business that can really beat you up i 